Nickelodeon Universe Theme Park is located inside the American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Located right outside New York City, this is my first and only amusement park that I've been to that's indoors. The park is located in a huge complex. They have also have a water park, skiing, an ice skating rink, and tons of stores. I'm just going to talk about the amusement park section of the mall since this is what this review and channel is all about. So I'm not going to go in too in depth with the mall. So first, let's talk about the roller coasters. This park has five roller coasters. Their notable ride there is TMNT Shell Razor, which is a Gerslau Eurofighter. It has the world's steepest drop. I did a review, so if you want to watch it, link is in the description. They also have an Intamin multi-launch called Sandy's Blasting Bronco. They have an Intamin Surf Rider called Timmy's Half Pike. A Gerslauer Spinner called Shredder. And a Chance Rides Big Dipper called Nickelodeon Slime Streak. As for flats, they have an okay flat ride lineup. Notable flats include Skyline Scream, which is their drop tower. Crank Prime Pandemonium, which is their Zamperla Pendulum ride. They have Jimmy Neutron's Atom Smasher, which is a Chance Rides unit coaster flat ride. Besides Universal, this is the most expensive park that I've been to. For a wristband, it's $61 compared to if you go to Palace, Planland, or Quasi, it's only around $30. And I can see a few factors on why this park is so expensive. First, this park is right outside New York City. When you think of New York City area, including Newark, you are going to find lots of expensive things. The American Dream Mall is in a big metro area, the biggest in the country. Second, this mall opened about three years ago in 2019. This is definitely a 21st century driven mall, home to tons of attractions. Third is inflation and pandemic. The mall opened about five months before the whole pandemic began, so obviously they had to close. Once they slowly reopened, they had to raise prices so they wouldn't lose money. And at that one point, the mall would have faced a potential financial, financial nightmare. As for food, we ate at a food court outside the park. We pretty much ate at a Taco Bell. It's pretty much the same. You can go in and out of the park with your wristband if you want to check out other attractions in the mall. As for appearance, it does have that Nickelodeon themed park vibe. For operations, they do run pretty good operations. We went on a dead day on a Friday, so, so there wasn't really much of a line. Loose articles, you can place your loose articles to the side. They have bins on all of the rides. So I, will, I would like to talk about once you'll, you'll get there from my perspective. So once you are walking around the mall trying to find the amusement park, you, you go down this, the escalator and you'll notice that the park is actually small in size. There's lots of rides intertwining with each other, including TMNT Shell Razor and Shredder. It is not a big park at all. You go right if you want to hit up TMNT Shell Razor and Shredder. And there's also a, a back section where Sandy's Blasting Bronco is. So overall thoughts, I think this is an awesome complex. However, for amusement park, I think it, it was a nice park. You do have some good thrilling rides, some rides for the kids. They do try to aim this towards a family park so that is it for my review on nickelodeon universe located at american dream mall in east rutherford new jersey if you've been here let me know what your thoughts are and if you agree follow me on social media links are in the description subscribe for more costumonium videos and i'll catch you guys later